You know what I mean? But, but, but the Bible says in, in, in John, John 6, verse 63, Jesus says, it is the spirit who gives life. The flesh is of no help at all. At all. When scripture talks about those who don't know Jesus, it, talk, it uses words like deaf. It uses words like blind. It even uses words like dead. First Corinthians tells us that, that, that the natural man, he can't understand these spiritual things. And so do we understand when we're talking about outreach, we're talking about a miracle must happen. It's just like raising the dead, but sometimes we don't think that way, so we don't get on our faces. You know, when you think, okay, what's going to reach the lost? We have so many methods. I, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I, I want us to really think through what we're trying to do, which is raise the dead. And it's not going to happen through our cleverness. It's going to happen by men and women being so attached to the vine that the fruit's just going to happen. And it's going to happen when men and women called the church, they are so united that a miracle happens. It, you know, the Bible says we're like pieces of the temple. We're each blocks. And it's, it's when these blocks stop separating themselves and go, wow, look how, you know, my edges are so straight. No, no. When you just jump in with the rest of the temple and you form this thing, just like in the Old Testament, that suddenly the glory of God's going to fill this place. When we just say, I'm just another block. I'm just jumping on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. I just want a piece of this thing. Rather, he says, when there's that type of unity, watch the glory that comes down and watch how the world's going to start believing in their destruction and your salvation. Watch how the dead are going to come to life. They're going to believe in Jesus when you are unified. That's how, we, that's how we reach out to the world. I believe in personal evangelism. We have to do that. The future of the church depends on the average person being able to preach the gospel. But I also believe that there's an apologetic in scripture that says, no, the world's gonna believe when the church really lives like the church and they become one. And the last thought I leave you with, another weird one, is when we think about proclaiming the gospel, we think about getting a great communicator to proclaim the gospel. But during that time with his disciples, Jesus said it's when you take this piece of bread. What? You break this bread, remembering my body that was broken for me, for you. And you drink this cup of the new covenant. You proclaim. You're proclaiming my death until I return. I'm supposed to preach the gospel by taking communion? what he said look I know there's a lot of strategies out there but I'm saying for fruit that lasts I think we need to rethink this and we're talking about a miracle and so I'm saying let's abide in him let's seriously believe that we can be one just as the father and son are one and pursue that in the church and let's bring communion back to the forefront.